Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gamer here. Rise of the Tomb Raider recently released, um, which was yesterday, on the 28th of January 2016. Um, obviously, it was released back for the Xbox One uh, many, many months ago, and it's finally made its way to PC, and it's proven to be quite a demanding game. Um, I'm sure most of you with uh, GTX 750 Ti's and Intel i3 processors know all about that. Now I want to talk about um, NVIDIA game ready drivers and um, basically the state of Tomb Raider's SLI scaling. It's not great and I thought I'd put together a little comparison just to um, show that off, just to show you how shocking it actually is. So what I'm going to do is just to show you what settings I'm using just to make sure um, everything's transparent. So I'm going to bring up the GeForce Experience. As you can see, I'm using drivers 361.75. These were released on the 27th um, via um, GeForce Experience. So this was brought out to um, get the optimal experience for the Rise of the Tomb Raider and Tom Clancy's with Division Beta, which releases a bit later today. Now, obviously, I've got these drivers installed. I'm using two GTX 980 Ti's with a slight overclock of 1210 megahertz on the mem on the core and 1903 megahertz on the on the memory. And what I'm going to do is just bring up Tomb Raider, show you the in-game settings I'm going to use, and just give you a quick comparison so you guys can see for yourself. So the in-game settings I'm using is a resolution of 2560 by 1440. And anti-aliasing is SMAA, that's the method I chose. You can choose super sampling anti-aliasing times 2 and 4 and also um, FXAA if you choose as well. Um, moving on to the graphics, I chose to max out all settings, so everything's at very high. Ambient occlusion is using HBO Plus. And the only thing I decided to take off was motion blurs. I don't think it adds anything to the game. Um, pure hair is also enabled, so the game is maxed out. And what I'm going to do now is show a side by side comparison of the game, and you guys can see for yourself just how shocking the scaling is. Keep moving. Come on, you can do this. Move. And I'll camp. enough to last the night. Uh, need to gather more. <sighs> Dry enough to burn. Uh, I hope. <sighs> Fresh kill. No meat, but maybe something else I can use.
mountains. If the artifact is here, you will find it. And what of the remnant? They continue to resist us, but we'll have the situation in hand soon enough. Good. Trinity has faith in you. Trinity. So as you can see, there's pretty much no benefit to running this game in SLI. And uh, this wouldn't be a big deal, but this isn't the first time NVIDIA have done that. They do claim to have outstanding driver support. When Fallout 4 launched, which was one of the biggest games of 2015, which also had game-ready drivers that had lack in, in um, SLI support, I think um, the same could be said for Far Cry 4 as well and now they've done it with uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider so it is a trend that's starting to continue a lot and maybe they're focusing on a single GPU um, performance um, over the dual GPU whereas m less people would have that kind of setup so I do understand it in that sense but at the same time um, they've made a product, they've made a technology it should be supported from day one uh, so they do need to sort it out because it's pretty shocking. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.